Hello, this is Max again. Uh, three videos in one day. Um, I was studying for my race, class, gender uh, test uh, tomorrow, and I started thinking, has America repented from its sins? Um, and I'm wondering because America has done a lot of bad stuff. It's been done a lot of good stuff too. But it's done a lot of bad stuff, too. And I know sometimes a lot of conservatives criticize Obama for when he's international, over international seas tours, and telling people, uh, apologizing for what we did, supporting, like, um, uh, overthrowing uh, an Iranian democratic leader. I mean, he might have been leaning communist. That's probably why they did it. But supporting a uh, fascist dictator, the Shah of Iran, and things like that. And we have slavery. We had slavery. We had segregation. I mean, we had... We brought people over in chains. Human beings mind you, over in chains to work in our fields. They weren't indentured servants. Uh, I, I don't believe that they were slaves as you would see in biblical times. They were brutalized. And the thing is, they were brutalized by Christians. People who claim to be followers of Jesus Christ and God-fearing men. And, I mean, one thing that I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, um, there were uh, about, uh, uh, in, in race question or in, in the book that I was studying, so the Christianity to which the slaves were introduced stressed obeying their owner. Complete surrender to whites meant salvation and eternal happiness in the hereafter. In contrast, the question God's will to fight slavery caused everlasting damnation. I mean, it's a miracle that they didn't lose their faith and that the Christian faith in the African American community just grew and grew and grew. Even while the awfulness of slavery was going on. And now, I know a lot of people like mentioned slavery was mentioned in the Bible. Um, slaves and masters, uh, Ephesians 6, 5. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but like slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, not men, because you know that the Lord will reward everyone for whatever good he does, whether he is a slave or free. And as masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Do not threaten them, since you know that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. It's funny how the southern slave owners forgot... Ephesians 6, 9. And so I'm wondering, have we? I mean, the Senate last month uh, issued an apology. And of the U.S. House of Representatives. And other states have done, done so as well. Uh, North Carolina um, and uh, Virginia. Um, Georgia didn't, as of yet. I mean, they might this season. This might they might this session, but 2008 session, the bill that would represent Georgia's official slavery apology, it never came to a vote. In April 2007, uh, Representatives Tyrone Brooks uh, got a racist email after introducing the bill. The email um, obtained by the Atlanta Progressive News said, The only thing we need to be sorry for is bringing sorry me over here in the first place, you lazy knees. Only want an apology and acceptance of responsibility, so you lazy buck tooth 
Kung can get more free money. And I'm wondering if he's a Christian. I wonder if he takes communion with that mouth. There are no talk of reparations, which I believe that there should be reparations. Um, I don't believe it should be direct to the descendants. I think it should be in rebuilding uh, the inner city cities um, and do that with the churches. Don't just have it be a government uh, like giveaway, but have it be building up jobs, building up hope in the inner cities. Um, and, and I mean, connect with the inner city churches. Because I mean, if you just have money, that's nothing. But hope and faith with this would do wonders, I believe. But a lot of Christians don't agree with reparations. And um, I'm wondering, have we truly repented? Uh, the Southern Baptists have made an apology for slavery and segregation. Um, I think in the late 90s, early 2000. And, but yet they still support policies that hurt poor African Americans. And so I'm wondering, have we repented from this sin? Now I, I believe America has to repent for the sins of abortion, uh, the sin of sexual immorality. On that, I am on the same page of the fundamentalists. But do they think we have to repent for the sin of slavery? Do they think we have to repent for, for what we did? And I bet you they'd say no. I mean, the Bible, a lot about economic injustice. Uh, and I mean, what we did to the blacks was like what the Babylonians did to the Jews. I don't know if anyone else has made that analogy, but it is. And like Joseph, uh, being sold off to slavery uh, to Egypt, he was there at the right place. And the only good, good that came out of it is, um, like uh, a friend of mine, um, who's an older African American, a woman, um, said, was that with all the cruelty and all the abuse and all that was going on, they were brought to the Lord. They no longer worshipped idols. And, and that is good. But what about those? I mean, maybe they were God's instrument. But remember, Nebuchadnezzar, Babylon was God's in instrument. And they were punished. Babylon ceased to exist. So, what about the, the, those southern Christians who brutalized their slaves? What about those southern Christians who went to a lynching party on Saturday? and went to church on Sunday. Did they get into heaven? I don't know, I'm not God. I can't say people go to heaven. I mean, they do, they do, they do. Um, but unless they repented from their hatred, their uh, murder, their sinful acts, I don't think they did. I don't think they went to heaven. And that's why I'm wondering, I mean, are nation is hurting. Our nation is in pain. And I believe that we haven't fully repented from what we did. And people are going on about repent from the sexual, uh, sexual immorality, but what about our corporate crimes? What about our corporate sins? What about our other sins? You can't mention one and not mention the other. That's hypocrisy. So I just wanted to put this out here and, and ask you, have we truly repented? God bless.